Hello and welcome to the show. I'm here on automation with a challenge of sorts that I have, uh, I have thought up. I'm going to try and build the ultimate key car. These are the tiny little Japanese cars. Uh, I'm trying to think of the Suzuki Wagon R. There we go, that's one of them. There's a Suzuki little convertible thing. I call it the cappuccino. It's not a cappuccino, but whatever. And um, these are tiny little Japanese cars that have uh, some slightly interesting restrictions on what you can do with them. I thought it'd be kind of fun to try and make the ultimate version uh, in this game. We're going to go into uh, the sandbox mode and create a new car. Now, very recently, I'm not quite sure when, but very recently, uh, they've uh, released this little tiny body shell to uh, <laughs> to work on, and I'm going to have this as the basis of my key car. I'm not quite sure if the sizes all fit regulations for it. I think they do. I think it's just about right. It may be a tiny bit too long. Uh, I think it might have to be 3.2 meters, not 3. Point. But anyway, uh, it's as close as I'm going to get, so we're going to use this uh, as our base basis of the car. Now, because I am making this the ultimate one, I'm not going to worry about price. So we're going to have a carbon fiber monocoque chassis. Uh, um, uh, oh yeah, one thing that I am... Uh, engine space in this car is difficult to get. Like, getting the 660cc engine actually in this car size-wise is a problem. I'm going to try and go for transverse. Uh, do I want to go for transverse? I think I may get better uh, engine bay space with this. I think that's uh, how I remember. Okay, again, we're going for all of the best suspension that I, that I can get, all the sportiest suspension that uh, I can get. And again, carbon fiber. I'm going to stick all the quality sliders up as well just to get the absolute maximum out of this car. I think with a longitudinal... Uh, no, uh, with the transverse one. So I always get them two mixed up. It really annoys me. Um, with a, uh, a transverse engine, I think I can get a tiny little bit more uh, space for it because yeah, the engine it really is a case of just barely fitting in. One thing I will do. I'm not sure if this makes a huge amount of difference, but I'm just going to do that. <laughs> you can extend the front. It looks a little bit strange, I will admit, but you can extend the front uh, just to give me as 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 good a, an opportunity, as good as as good a possibility to get. Uh, engine space. Oh, quick, stick the quality up. There we go. Um, right. Okay, now it comes to headlights. Try and not make the car look too derpy. Uh, we could go with these, and then if we twist them, sort of like that. Uh, oh, but <laughs> no, slightly, slightly broke to them. There we go. Eh, I'll take it, and uh, we'll come to the... I've kind of got into the habit, I kind of like doing these, oh, and I've been messing around. Uh, what ones is I use? I kind of like doing these sort of... You have these uh, grill bits here on the side, or these vents on the side, then have a grill in the middle. I'm kind of liking that on uh, on the cars on here. Now, cooling is not going to be as big an issue with this as when I built the hypercar. Okay, it's not quite going to be as important, but it is still going to be important, because I'm going to be having quite a crazy engine. Let's well, say crazy. Uh, I'm still going to be trying to get uh, basically a race prepared engine only using a very very small displacement in this car so we still are going to need a fair bit of cooling uh, in here uh, actually I do hmm, I'm not sure I quite like I think I want to I'm going to now really annoy the game because I think I actually want to uh, yeah sorry I want to get rid of those fixtures because I want to have that out but I want that to come down because I don't like that up like that there we go and it looks a bit better with it like that. <laughs> then I will replace these. Um, yeah, I was kind of happy with these headlights. They kind of worked. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, no. no. Spin in the correct manner, for God's sake. <laughs> this always seems to be a little bit fiddly for some reason. There we go. Then we will put them there. Do we want them there? Or do we want them a little bit higher up, maybe? Sort of on the edge. That, that, that'll do. Uh, yeah, I could spend forever faffing around with the, the, the these parts on the car. And it's great fun. It is, it is a great part of the game. It's just faffing around with all of this until you're happy with your car. I mean, I'm not the most artistic of persons. Uh, when it comes to this, I just kind of chuck it together with the best that my brain can vaguely come up with. Uh, what grill was I using? I think I was using this one here. Yeah, make that one a little bit smaller. And then we will have... How much cooling is that? Total 336. I think I'm probably going to need about 600. Oh, five, five to six hundred is what I'm expecting to need on this car. So we will have another grill up here. That's about five fifty. If we really get desperate, I can just stick some stuff. It kind of reminds me of a Honda Prelude at the front <laughs> with the with the bumper sticking out. That does kind of look like a Prelude. Um, yeah, 
if we get really desperate, I will stick some vents on the bonnet. It will look silly uh, for a car like this, but you know, there's there's plenty of space to be sticking great big vents and so on. Uh, wings. Now I'm going to put a wing on this car. Oh, we need tail lights. Tail lights. We need these. They're kind of a, a thing that uh, <laughs> are sort of useful. Um, hmm. I would kind of like to have the big t tower lights going down there, like you get on a focus uh, or the older focuses. Is but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't. I can't certainly can't position these how I would want them to do that. Shall we just have these ones? Sure. Let's, uh, uh, oh, there we go. That'll do. Sure. <laughs> just put them a little bit lowered below that uh, line. Sure. I'll do that. Uh, vents. Not going to do any more. Wings. I am going to have. Uh, you could have, of course, this wing. Uh, <laughs> but it looks a bit silly. Uh, it looks ridiculously silly. And. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to have that. As, as much as I like silly wings, I'm not going to have that on this car. Uh, I was thinking, I don't know, can we do... Oh, we could have a... <laughs> you could have a wing down there. No, I was going to have a, just a low wing up here. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is if you have a wing on the cars on here, you can get sort of like active aero bits and so on to make the car handle better, uh, to give it some better statistics at the end, which is what we're going for here. We're going for the best statistics that we possibly can from... A key car, uh, regardless of money and so on. I'll stick the quality up over here as well. I'm not really sure if this. I guess the aero parts it'll make a difference on the quality of door handles. Yes, we need to get in. I'm going for the smallest. I don't know if, if these make a huge difference weight-wise. I'm just going for the smallest ones we can. Yes, uh, we're not. Go, we're not going to go for any bonnet scoops. We don't need them. Exhaust. Shall we go for? <laughs> yes, we need four exhausts on the. <laughs> Look at the size of them. Yes, we need ludicrous exhausts. Look at the fart cans on the back of this car. Fantastic. And then badges, of course, just to finish it off. Uh, the back of the car. I'm actually pretty pleased with the way the front looks, to be honest. The back of the car is a little bit crappy, but never mind. Uh, oh, that badge is bloody huge. <laughs> um, okay, fine. Can we have the badge on the... Yes, we will have the badge there, sure. That's... Uh, <laughs> it's close enough. It'll do. Uh, um, right. That'll do for the appearance of the car. And, of course, we must be in orange. That is a mandatory part of any fail race car. Right. We're going to go for an all-wheel drive car. First time I think I built an all-wheel drive car on here. Yeah, not going to go for front-wheel drive because we're going to try and get as much power in this. So all-wheel drive will be a little bit a little bit better, really. New engine. Now comes the fun part of trying to get this engine to fit. As I, Again, as I said, I'm going to go for all the best parts that I can. Now, the engine is... I mean, the engine's got to be 660cc. There we go. We can just about fit it in, uh, as you can see there. The concern I have is that this is just about fitting in now. When I stick the turbos on, it's going to... Uh, may go oversized. We may even be under 660cc. Oh, crap. As you can see when I stick these on. Now, <laughs> the choice is, do we go... When we add this, it makes the car long... It makes the engine longer. But this is a hell of a lot better. So, we may have to uh, go for better parts. Ah! Bugger it. So, we can get... Alright. We're at 656cc. And I haven't even put the turbos on. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Ah, uh, 655, it's getting, <laughs> we're getting smaller and smaller displacement all the time. Uh, yeah, the, the um, max RPM, I mean, we're not worrying about, well, I mean, there's going to be, I will go with max so we can get as much RPM out of the engine as possible. Because, I mean, the torque, this is not going to be the bit most powerful engine ever made. Um, so, it's not, it shouldn't, it shouldn't have too much torque for them to handle. Uh, da, 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 quality again. We'll come back to do all to adjust all of this. Oh, of course, we have to have we have to sort out the style of the thing again. It must be what one do we like? Um, what does this one? Look? Ah, there we go. It must be an orange. That'll do nicely. Uh, turbocharger. Yes. Uh, we want. Yeah, we're going to want uh, an intercooler. I'll set them to defaulters race. Or to the defaulters race, we uh, will have to come back and fiddle with them stuff again. Quality, yoink that up, and then go for all of the best bits here. Engine still fits in the car. That's good. Again, I'm going for the uh, the super fuel rather than the full on race fuel. As yeah, uh, uh, we'll stick that up there again. Uh, as that's the sort of more likely one to see uh, at a petrol station normally. I think you can, people said you can get that very rarely. Uh, in England, anyway. And then exhaust is just this. Uh, I'm hoping we'll get about 200 plus horsepower uh, out of this. 
it is a tiny, tiny little engine. Right, initial testing. We've got 117 horsepower from the initial testing. Everything is still green, though, from the default stuff, which is not bad. Uh, now comes the tinker around with little bits. Can we get how much more RPM? I would, we need to uh, da, 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 make these as big as possible in general. Uh, the problem with, with such a tiny engine, like it doesn't let me put on any bigger turbos. I can't have ludicrous turbos. Let's uh, st stick on a lot more boost. Uh, yeah, and then we'll have to come back. Whoops, we'll have to come back and uh, adjust all that stuff. Well, we're 141 horsepower now. Uh, stick the uh, uh, AR ratio up. And both turbos are okay. And, uh, right. Then we've got to go and yoink some other things up. We will, uh, <laughs> stick cam profile all the way. 207 horsepower already. That's not too bad. Uh, not a huge amount of torque, which is why I could get away with those, uh, whatever it was that I was putting on. Uh, was it Conrods? Yeah, I think it was. Or pistons or something along those lines. Uh, right. Now, ignition timing. Can we get any more than, uh, oh. I don't even know where it was before. Two hundred there. Fuel mixture. If we stick up some richer, some richer fuel. Two hundred and twenty horsepower from a six hundred and fifty-six cc engine is not bad. The problem is the turbos are. <laughs> Turbos are kind of what limit me to uh, to stuff on here because I would want to make these bigger that would make it happier But I can't I have to uh, basically lower the boost if I want that uh, to survive any better uh, And then of course we've now lost all the all the power then we'll have to readjust some other things um, Yeah, the turbos. I mean we could <laughs> In theory we could get this much out of it. The, the things are still alive. It's the turbos are just not big enough I believe. Uh, I can't move this slider up anymore because the engine size and the, the limit that I have inside the car, I think, as well. Um, or the engine bay as well. So we can't get uh, a bigger turbo on it, which is a shame because we can't put out this much this much boost on the engine. So if we want the turbo to survive sensibly, we will have to have it down here. Uh, I, I will accept the turbo kind of in the yellow uh, <laughs> for this because bugger it, I do want that much power. And what was the problems with the engine? Engine is uh, too rich, yeah, because we've not got as much boost. Uh, I should, I certainly should be able to get 200 out of it. Uh, if we, uh, there we go, if we yoink that up some more. Uh, can we get, oh, no, that's gone down again. Uh, yeah, this is the, the very fine balancing act of getting, uh, I want 200, 200, oh, 202 horsepower, there we go. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, that's too much. <laughs> 202 horsepower. Um, yeah, I'm going to be satisfied with that. RPM limit, I mean, the parts will just about survive. Well, not quite 12,000 RPM, but it's not going to matter anyway because it's hitting its RPM limit. If I, ah, if I stick the RPM limit down a little bit, can I get a bit more boost? Can I get any more boost? Oh, aha, I can get some more boost on a yellow turbo bit. Or is it, the, I think it's the compressor, that side, that is uh, slightly unhappy with me. Uh, do, 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 Too far up. I will remember these eventually. There we go. 200 and... Can we get 210? Nope. <laughs> we'll get 210 doing that anyway. And then I could spend forever tinkering around. There we go. Oh, 210 horsepower. I'm going to take it at that. 210 horsepower. 9,800 RPM. Uh, we can get it to 10,000. I'm going to keep it at 9,800. Uh, I think that's, that's about where the power's going to be anyway. It's going to start dropping off. Uh, 124 foot-pound of torque. We <laughs> this is at 210 horsepower. That's sort of 70 more than my Mazda has. And my Mazda has a 1.8 litre. Admittedly, it doesn't have a turbo, but... <laughs> <laughs> now, this is where we cause to do very massively, because the actual key cars themselves are technically not allowed uh, more than 64 horsepower, I think. The, uh, the rules are... Ah! I could make, oh wait, hold on, if I make the exhaust bigger, does that make the turbos happier? Was that what was limiting me before? No? Uh, okay, we can get a bit more boost then. Uh, whoop, a bit more boost, and then what have I, ah, yes, I've got to go back and change this. I completely forgot about the exhaust thing that I can change. 220! Haha! <laughs> We've got another 10 out of it. Oh, bug I completely forgot about the exhaust slider, never mind. So if we make that even uh, no, that's about the, <laughs> that's about the good that we can do with, the oh wait, I'm pretty sure, did that change with a light slide? There we go. That's its happiest uh, diameter. I could spend forever fiddling with sliders. I'm going to go with this. 220 horsepower, 131 foot-pound of torque uh, from a 656cc engine. Now, this is where it tells me, sorry, engine is too big. And everything is good. The, I don't know, this stuff here is not too bad, to be honest. Required, ah, oh, required cooling is only 253. I was thinking I was going to need a lot more. No. Um, 
We good on required cooling then. Reliability, 65. Sure. And then we come to the... The, <laughs> the trim part. It looks like such a derpy car. <laughs> it really does. Uh, but it's ridiculously quick. Uh, right. Sequential double clutch gearbox. Um, six gears? Sure, I don't think we're going to need eight gears, to be honest. Uh, it's not that it's not that fast. Wonder how quick. Yes, four hundred and fifty nine. If only. Uh, no, uh, one hundred and fifty maybe at best. I don't know. Uh, we'll keep that. We'll go for electronical. Oh yeah, we've got four wheel drive, of course, haven't we? So we can send more power to the rear. Maybe should we go sixty? Oh, sixty five thirty five. That should be good. Uh, the wheels. The <laughs> <laughs> the wheels look like shopping cart wheels, in all honesty. Uh, right, now we can have a change with these. Semi-slick tyres, that's more like it. Um, now, we want... Uh, what's that one change? Oh, let's change the diameter of the tyre. We want them... Can we get much... No, they look still looking a bit silly then. Um, <laughs> what does this do? Is this offset outwards? I think it might be slightly... No? Uh, oh, wait, that's the maximum. I think that was... Yes, it is. Putting it out. Right, yeah, that looks definitely a lot better, having it on the edge. Uh, yeah, we'll do that again there. Tire widths. Of course, we're going to want as big a tyres as possible to uh, give the car as uh, get the car as quick as possible. Wheels. I forgot about those wheels when I built the height. I just completely ignored them. <laughs> I forgot I could change them. Um, yeah, carbon fibre wheels, of course, on this. And they're about the only rims that I even vaguely like. Quality. Whee! All the way up to the top again. Uh, then brakes, we go for a six piston carbon ceramic brakes on a, <laughs> on our key car and we'll have them on the back as well, full on race and look at the size of the, uh, oh, a little bit too far, look at the size of the <laughs> carbon ceramic brakes and I love how when you change these things in here, it's, it's, it's changing the way they look, it's very cool I love the detail in there and again, even when you change these, you can see it changing from the, uh, the, different, the different things, it's very cool um, Right, they're the brakes. Yep, quality, all the way up again. And then we come to downforce, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, this is where you can tinker with some of these things. We're going to go for an active wing. So we've got DRS and cooling flaps. Not quite sure, but yes, we're having them. Uh, <laughs> cooling airflow, we need... Uh, actually, we only need a lit... We only need, like, that on there, and then I can stick the rest on brakes, sure. I mean, we shouldn't overheat the brakes, let's be honest, but bugger it. We don't need the full-on thing for the... Uh, uh, for the engine anyway, because it's only about 250. And seats, going to go for a two-seater. We don't need more than that. This is a sports car. We'll go with sports seats as well. I think they're the lightest ones you can... Oh, no, you can get basic. Uh, we're going to go for sports seats. We're, we're going to pretend that's racing seats, okay? Don't need any entertainment. You've got a... Uh, <laughs> this is a racing car. We will go for these to increase drivability. Uh, safety, I mean, we could go for, for none, but again, race, car, race cars are safe. So they're built strong. So we'll go for <laughs> advanced safety bits. And then onto suspension. Uh, active, uh, active sport, I think, is the most sportiness. Is it the most sportiness? Uh, yeah, it's the, the most sportiness and the highest drivability. Uh, so we'll go for that again. We'll go for semi-active, uh, passive. We'll have it preset to race. I love how you can adjust all of this as well to make the car. Uh, can we go even more? You could go even more extreme on the uh, <laughs> on the camber if you want. So you can fine-tune it to set faster lap times around the test track and all of that sort of thing. Uh, quality, again, we're just whacking all the quality up. I will leave it on the race preset because I haven't, I haven't really played around too much with this, so I don't really know what I'm doing with it. And voila, the total car, the total cost of the car is ludicrous. Uh, <laughs> $200,000 to produce this. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous, but don't does not worry about that. Uh, weight nine hundred eighty one kilos. Uh, so yeah, pretty light. Uh, with uh, with all sorts of other various things. This is the interesting bit, though. What have we got? Top speed one hundred forty two miles an hour. It'll do naught to sixty in five seconds. Five seconds. It will do the naught to sixty. Not to sixty two. I should say. That's very fast. That's very. That's. I'm. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. A sort of car. Is that quicker than a Ferrari F40? Could be. I don't know what the F40 does. It might be around the F40s. That I'm thinking sort of slightly older supercar territory. I mean, mo most modern supercars are doing three seconds, but uh, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> there we go. Quarter of a mile. Thirteen point three eight seconds. Uh, that's pretty damn fast. At 142 miles an hour. This is all out of a car with a Diddy engine. A tidy, tidy engine. Uh, yeah. I... <laughs> 
This is a ludicrous thing. It really is. It, again, it's not. It, it's sort of a bit of a prelude front uh, with. I'm not even sure. A little bit of a crappy back. <laughs> it is absolutely balmy, and I love it. It's fantastic. With a what was the engine size again? It was exactly 655 cc engine. I've got 220 horsepower, and you could pro with a bit more fine tuning, you could probably get more than 220 out of it. Um, and it'll do 0 to 62 in five seconds flat. Yeah, I like my car. I like my ultimate key car. Uh, even if it did, let, let's let's just take off a couple of digits off here. Uh, preferably, maybe that one and that one, and then <laughs> we won't we won't, we won't uh, don't pay any attention to the cost. Uh, <laughs> but there we go. That is uh, the ultimate key car. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And until next time, uh, goodbye.